Hello, hi everybody. My name is Miss Annie and I teach violin to very young and some medium and some older students. And I wanted to give you a little recap of how we teach the beginning process for playing the violin. So when you're playing your violin, we've already established that you've got a shoulder rest to hold it up for you. This one's got a hole in it, it's, it's an electric violin. And you have your strings are in tune. You might need some help with that from your teacher, or if you need to go to buy the music store, sometimes they can help you, or if you can even learn to do it online. These fine tuners are very safe to use for tuning your violin. Oh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the violin in position. So getting it ready, I'm putting my little monster fingers on here, my thumb is on the back, and I'm picking it up, and coming in for a landing onto the shoulder, and I wanna double check and make sure my whole shoulder is covered up. If I've got it too far down here, it's going to affect my bow. So I want to keep it on the shoulder, cover up the entire shoulder. And if your shoulder rest is in the right place, you should be able to lift your hands and say, look, no hands. All right. So I'm going to put my fingers back on the violin. I'm softly placing my fingertips on the violin like this. The thumb is still on the back. So uh, this is called monster fingers. All right. As I'm holding the violin, I want to remind you of the strings. The first string is E string. The second string is the A. Here's the D. And the G. So we're going to be starting on the E string because that's the most natural and the, um, the most relaxing. All right. So the next thing is really important is the bow position for your violin. Now, when you're holding your bow, you're going to be practicing either one of three ways. If you're very young, you may be holding it like this. This is your position for Suzuki very young beginners. We got the thumb on the ferrule, and notice my thumb is bent. Notice my pinky is bent. This is a relaxed position for the bow. When I put it on the string. I come in for a landing. I'm going to be making some face circles first. I'm going to come in for a landing and it's going to naturally fall on this first string. It's easy to overplay that string. So you want to make sure that when you place it on the string, you just let the bow fall down as you play your rhythms. The first one being, we call it um, peanut butter sandwich or, or Mississippi stop stop, pepperoni pizza. You might have a lot of words for it. Taka taka taka. Okay. So the first one is coming in for a landing landing on the E string, and then going. My elbow is falling. All right. So that is the very beginning, very young bow hold. All right. If you're a little bit older, maybe middle school or older um, elementary school, you might hold it in this early bow hold, and that thumb is gonna be across from the middle finger, and then you've got your other two fingers. You've got this finger hanging down. The first finger is kind of leaning over. Here's the pinky on the top. That's the ideal bow position for your um, early bow hold. And that makes it a little bit different, and you'll see what it can do. It has a lighter touch to it, and it also enables you to play with longer strokes like this. So I would definitely use that with some older beginners. Now the next one that I use and that all my, of course my colleagues are going to be using are going to be, this is going to be the uh, regular bow hold. So the thumb is across from the middle finger but it's on the, the bump of the frog. So you can see pictures of this all online but I want to show you where my thumb is. On the frog, here's the frog, there's a little bump that mine's covered up with a little pad because I like a little cushion. My thumb is going to go kind of touching against that bump. It's going to use that as a little bit of like a power spot, you know? Then my fingers are going to lay across here. We're going to cross the thumb, and then pinky goes on top. And my first finger lays like that. Notice that I'm always holding my bow and supporting it with the other hand when I'm getting my bow set. So there it is from the side. That's it. Pinky, you want to check it. If, if it's too tight, sticking out like that, it's better that you don't even have it on the bow. It's probably better that you just let it float, okay? Because so we don't want to create tension here. We want the tension to not be uh, as you're a beginner, for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start with this bow hold. My violin's in position, nice and tall, but not up here. It's not that tall. All right, here I come. I'm going to make some face circles, and my bow is going to go very high. Now I'm going to come in for a landing onto the A string, to the E string, sorry. And I'm going to go ahead with my peanut butter sandwich. That's the first one. That's the first rhythm we're going to do. Now, while I'm showing you the next rhythm, I'm going to show you the next string. I want you to take your fingers and as if this is a little rabbit in your mouth, like 
I mean, uh, this is a carrot in your rabbit's mouth, then you're gonna sort of give it a little munch as it goes up to the A string, and just munch it as it goes to the A string. Your fingers are still on the bow, but let it go to the A, and let your elbow kind of float a little higher. Just keep it a little higher, and I'm gonna do the second rhythm. That's the variation B. That's gonna be drop the chalupa, chalupa, And so it goes until the song is done. Now that one is a little bit, uh, we're not going to be using it with the fingers right away. We're just going to be doing that with the bow. Okay? I'm going to do the next rhythm, keep on the A string. And the next one would be, <clears throat> you might call it down itty up itty, or you might call it down pony up pony, or you might even call it dog chase the cat, chase the dog chase the cat. So I'm getting my bow on the A string again. I've come in for my landing, <clears throat> and I'm going to go. So that's just an example. Now notice that my bow is kind of midway between this end of this fingerboard and the bridge. That's sort of your best sound, all right? The next one, the last rhythm that we're gonna do for our variations, and these are all for a different ribbon for my students. I give ribbons for each of these variations when they're well executed. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bow back on the string, tip it to the A string. Notice my pinky's nice and bent, all right? Now I'm gonna do my last one, which is, we call peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, or you might call it Michael Michael Motorcycle, or even jellyfishy, jellyfishy, jellyfishy. It depends on whatever your teacher calls it, but it's a matter of just going. I want to remind you that this is very easy to get tight, so you don't want to be tight. You want to just let your arm hang and let the, your body and your knees let your knees be soft as you go down. All right, so that's our last song. So those are the twinkle variations the way that I teach it. That's just kind of a recap. It's not all of it. But I want you to know that I know that you can play. I know that you can do this. And I will see you in our next class. Have a great week.